Hello and welcome to the third episode of the CSS Battles walkthrough. And today we're going to be doing the push button, the third challenge. Yay! Uh, which is just this, well, well circles. And it's going to be, uh, for this solution, we're going to be using one of many to come uh, radial gradient solutions, right? Because we're going to see a pattern here that radial, gr radial gradients and uh, linear gradients as well as box shadows are very, very overpowered. <laughs> in CSS battles, you can do a lot of cool tricks with them. It's gonna save you a lot of characters. So the just to give like an overall idea of what we're gonna try to build here. So if we take a look at the actual image here, right? Uh, there are like two main components of this we're gonna be making. So first of all, just like the sky blue background, it's just gonna be the body, right? Nothing too fancy. It's just gonna be the body, right? But then in the middle here, we're gonna see that we have some sort of like rectangle, right? Because this entire like rectangle here is gonna be like a single little element. There's gonna be uh, yeah, like a div or a p tag, uh, and then we're gonna have a radial gradient that goes like from the middle out, and then we're gonna have another one that goes from like the middle out, which is gonna be blue, and then the yellow, and then we're gonna have a third one that's gonna be like the uh, the sky blue here, right? So we're gonna see <laughs> soon what soon what I mean. So let's just start off by removing all of the comments, um, and then let's create actual like rectangle first of all. Or no, let's uh, let's actually fix the background. So with the background, with the body, I'm just gonna make um background and i'm just gonna give it the sky blue here so you can see it like so right and then we're pretty much not even gonna touch the body um after that one but for the div here what we're gonna be making is that we're gonna have the width of 300 pixels and the height of 150. Um, and then the background here now we're just gonna start with the radial gradient so we can do a lot of fun things with it so let's start with just applying the radial gradient right and let's just look at like a simple example of how this might look we can go like red and then blue we're gonna see we're gonna get this uh, <laughs> interesting radial gradient that goes uh, from the middle out um, like a circle, but it's not a perfect circle because the the issue with it right now is that our like the actual div itself is a rectangle, so in the middle it cannot be a circle. And to fix that, we're gonna apply the circle like that, and now we're gonna see that it actually looks like a circle. We're gonna see this in a better example when we actually start making the the rings. You can say. So let's start with the middle ring, the, <coughs> the the yellow one. So you can take the color from there and place it in there. Um, and then w w what you can do with the uh, with radial gradients, or linear gradients in general, is you can like pr uh, provide a like stop value. So if I were to put like 25 pixels, uh, we might not see that much. But if I were to increase like to 250, we're gonna see the entire thing is pretty much like yellow now, because this little like pixel value we put there is pretty much telling you like okay, from the middle out. Uh, how far are we gonna have yellow until we actually start like grading it, grading it out? Uh, so you can think like from the middle here we have like a starting point, and then we're gonna go 20 pixel, 25 pixels up in a radius. So it's gonna be an entire circle with a uh, diameter of like 50 pixels at that point. So we've got a radius with 25 pixels because we put 25 pixels here, um, and then after that like line, you can like imaginary line, then it's gonna start transitioning. I mean, if we, if we make this like more, so like like a hundred, right? We're gonna see it's even closer now. Like it goes a hundred pixels out, and then it starts transitioning. And you can do a lot of like fun tricks with this, and then we're gonna see. So you can go like twenty-five pixels, because now what I can do if I want just kind of circle in the middle, um, I can just go here. Like okay, I want blue to start from zero pixels, and then voila, <laughs> we have a, a circle in the middle, right? But we want the we don't want to create a lot of circles for this, so. Uh, the way this is gonna work now is you can we can go like okay start from the start from zero pixels, but then end at like seventy five pixels, right? And we're not gonna see anything. But if we were to apply like red here as well, uh, and give this like zero, we can see we get another circle because it starts from zero now. Uh, so from the middle, go from zero pixels in, in the middle, out to tw uh, seventy five pixels, meaning that like the actual ring here is gonna be like seventy five minus twenty five. Uh, pixels like 50 pixels which is i'm uh, pretty sure what we want uh, and we can change the color for it let me zoom out a bit so you can see it better and let's go like that uh, and then we're gonna have the last circle or we're gonna have two more actually uh, but the second circle or the third circle that we're gonna have is like the sky blue one uh, so it's gonna be the red one we have right now but it's not gonna be red it's gonna be this color and uh, here again we can go like okay, start from zero but then go out to 125 pixels and again, we're not gonna see anything, but if we were to put like red here, uh, and I put zero here, we're gonna see. So now we get this shape, right? Because what's happening here, I see we're creating a lot of like different gradients here. So we get the first one, it's gonna be th this part right here, which 
you're saying, okay, start from the middle, go 25% south, and then start transitioning. But because we have this one right here that goes after it, that says, okay, start from zero pixels and then go 275 pixels out before you start transitioning, it's just like, like the, the, the transition here is never gonna appear because we sort of like block it with the second one, all right? Um, and then we the, like this one is gonna start transitioning at 75 pixels, but that's also never gonna happen because we have this the third one here that's gonna start at zero and then end at 25, 125 pixels. So we're never gonna see this one either. And the same, game, same thing goes for this one. We're never gonna see the transition for this one because we have the red one that starts at zero. But we don't want red, we want this color again. And just like that, we have the shape. And now all we gotta do is just gotta like, give it some margin. And I can give it like, let's say I go uh, 75 and then like zero. We're gonna see like, okay, 75 pixels on the top. And now we can see that it's a bit sliding a bit. Uh, on the y axis, it is where we want it to be. But we wanna go uh, to the right a little bit more. And if, if we, like, we wanna put it in the middle here. Um, and the way we can do this is that we <laughs> use our fantastic math skills. So the entire like box itself, uh, the, w the width of it is 400 pixels, and our container, the actual like div here, is 300 pixels. Um, so we want to go like, okay, let's go 50, 50 to the left. But this is going to result in some issues, because now it's not in the middle, right? As you see, it's not in the middle at all. And that's because the actual body itself already has 8 pixels, so we got to subtract that from the 50. So we go to 42, and now you can see that we have it in the middle. Uh, nice, okay. Uh, but this is some like 100, 220, 226 characters we can go down uh, quite a lot so you can remove by we can start by removing that like ending div there uh, and we stay we went down six and then we can remove the div here and put a p tag instead we're gonna see get the same thing but a lot less characters and then i'm just gonna uh, sorry like that uh, and then also one thing we can do because we have the, the, only, the only thing we're putting on the body here uh, is the background uh, and instead of like writing body here, we can write the star, which is like the you can say for you, you sort of think of it as like the wild card uh, CSS selector, which pretty much means you select everything, right, and give everything on our website the background of this uh, sky blue, uh, because right here we're overriding that color already, so it doesn't really matter. So we just like save three characters here, which is super nice. And then when we go down, we can remove the semicolon right there as well. We can go down again. We can go down again like that. I'm just gonna remove the majority of things here. Um, and then one thing here, we have 75 plus uh, or 75 and 42. One thing you can do in CSS Battle is you can put a plus instead of the the spacebar. This won't save us any characters at this point, but it's a cool thing to know. And I like to have it like the pluses instead of the spacebars, because then I can be sure that I have removed all the white space that I can. Uh, and then here with 300 pixels, we can just write 300. Uh, and we can just go 150 here because we can just remove the uh, the pixels. We, we don't need them. And then we can go back there. We can remove this part right here. Zara. And then uh, yeah. Now we have to remove this as well. Then we can go remove that and put a plus. And remove that and put a plus. And then remove that and put a plus. And then remove that and put a plus. Remove that and put a plus. Like so. And put a plus right there as well. Nice. And then if we submit, we should see. Hello, submit. Nice. 100% batch and 155 characters. Uh, awesome. And I don't think that there's any more shortcuts that we could do here. I don't think so. Um, we can see the the leaderboard is 100 and like it's what is it? Uh, 108 characters and yeah, <laughs> it's. It's quite low margins. 108 is the number one, and 115 is the is the highest. That's interesting. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. That's that's the that's the challenge. I think I'm pretty much done with it. We have 155 characters. Hope you learned something, and I see you in the next one.